everyone welcome back to blue piano soaps Ellen here and today I'm gonna to do something a little different I don't know lately I've just really gotten in the mood to try some new and different things and what I'm gonna be making today is a men's shaving soap um, I thought that would be nice since Father's Day is coming up and um, you ladies have um, fathers in your life or husbands in your lives or significant others or sons um, that you need to buy something for and I thought this would be kind of cool and this is not my recipe just so you know this is a recipe that I got off of Wholesale Supplies Plus um, let me see if it has a specific name okay they call it soothing shaving cream recipe and it was definitely on their site as of a couple months ago when I bought this kit and since I had never made um, shaving cream soap before I bought the kit to make it I always like to do that you guys when it's something I'm not you know familiar with um, it's a great way to try um, try out the recipe and not really go crazy spending too too much money on it so I bought the kit and I'm going to show you what comes in the kit and then um, I'm going to make it and you are going to be on the journey with me to make it so um, they have a shopping list um, I, I, this is so ridiculous this page got a little crinkled up it really shouldn't look like this but um, they have a shopping list and I have to be honest with you I I cannot remember now if I strictly bought it as a kit or if because I didn't need like everything in the kit because I had some stuff um, if I just uh, sort of picked and choose what I needed but what I can tell you is the recipe calls for this foaming bath whip um, it's 32 ounces of foaming <coughs> excuse me foaming bath whip oh swallowed wrong there and um, it comes in a pound like this and so I got two of those which are oops which are right here and then um, it comes with an aloe butter blend um, it takes two ounces and that's here and then an ounce of carrot seed whoops wrong one <laughs> carrot seed extract water soluble and the carrot seed extract is supposed to soothe the skin to reduce razor burn the hemp seed oil, which is going to be next, is supposed to penetrate the skin and it provides like lasting moisture. Um, and there's also betonite um, clay in it, which is supposed to um, help the razor glide. This, this is at least what the recipe says. So um, here's some hemp seed oil, uh, water soluble, and then... Um, the bentonite clay and see I don't think this much came in the kit I think I just bought this in a larger size um, and then this particular kit came with London for men it's an um, EO and FO blend so um, that's gonna kind of be interesting I don't know that I have ever used essential oil and fragrance oil blend before I've kind of used one or the other um, the other thing that you need to have is this preservative water soluble um, and I believe that just helps to the shelf life of it um, the other thing that I bought that I want to show you which again wholesale supplies plus had um, are these adorable little shaving brushes here they are and these were on sale I mean this was a really good price on these because I think I initially tried to price them on Amazon and this was a pretty good sale um, that wholesale supplies plus had I, I cannot remember exactly how much I paid for this but I I remember thinking it was a really good price I want to say 
please don't quote me on this don't shoot the messenger and don't put nasty comments down in the comment section <laughs> um, but I want to say I think this was maybe like $9.99 that's what it was on sale for for six brushes and they're they're pretty nice high quality you know shaving brushes so um, I ordered some of those and then lastly let me grab this I ordered from Amazon I ordered these containers now these containers um, they are plastic um, they're BPA free though and they um, have a black lid which I thought you know kind of matched the black shaving brush and these came in in this set um, they're 12 in here and I think I, um, I'll try to remember to leave a link below um, where I got these on Amazon but they were very inexpensive as well and I really really like the fact that they're not glass that they actually are a heavy-duty plastic um, the other thing is um, before I'm going to kind of go back and forth going to turn the camera off a couple times because there's different things that we need to accomplish with this recipe but at some point before I fill these jars I am going ahead and boil these in hot water and really sterilize these jars before I add in the um, shaving cream so um, hey let's go ahead and get started how fun we're doing something different right so the first thing that the recipe says to do is it says to um, place the aloe butter and the hemp seed oil over a heat source and heat just long enough to melt the butter completely. So I am going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to go melt it in my little hot pot there and I'll be back. Okay guys, so we are back. So sometimes I get comments um, and people say, you know, show us every single step. Um, it's kind of hard to do that when you're filming and that's why I went ahead and I melted the, um, the aloe butter blend with the hemp seed oil. I did it off camera. I, it's hard enough for me to, um, keep my hands steady in the best of times <laughs> uh, you really don't want to see me filming holding a camera in my hand as I move it from you know location to location believe me you do not want to see that um, all I did is I just walked over to my um, little I, I have what they call a um, I guess you'd call it kind of like a hot pot. Um, it's like a little portable little stove top that you would use like in a camper or something like that. And a lot of times I use that to, um, you know, melt um, oils and butters. Um, when I, I, I try not to use the microwave um, as much as possible, I usually only use the microwave if I'm melting melt and pour soap so i just stepped aside um right here we have um because i want to distinguish from what came in the kit and what the actual recipe calls for because i think i said at the beginning of this video that i i can't remember if it, it if for some things i think it was cheaper to just order them larger as opposed to ordering them from the kit but but i am following the kit measurements so um, in here is one ounce of aloe butter blend and one ounce of hemp, hemp seed oil um, that is melted. They tell you to do that first, melt it completely. And then they say in a separate measuring cup, which I have right here, um, this looks pretty nasty. Um, what is in here is one ounce of carrot seed extract and um, 10 mls of water soluble preservative and then two tablespoons of bentonite clay and just one suggestion i think if you're buying the kit i don't know maybe it comes with it if you if you totally buy the kit yeah actually i'm looking at it and it does 
I was going to say for the um, preservative, you really need a dropper because there really is no other way to do the, the 10 ml unless you do it with a dropper or unless you have something like this where um, I think I got these spoons. I want to say I got them on Brambleberry and um, it says on here that one teaspoon is 5 ml. So, um, you know, I could have gone that route too. I could have filled this twice to give me 10 ml but luckily i had a dropper and that's what i used um, when i did the bentonite uh, clay again i used the larger spoon which shows me that one this is one tablespoon so i did two of these okay so we've got that taken care of so here we have um, our melted items here we have the clay the preservative and the carrot seed extract and i have to say it already has um, a little bit of a carrot smell so you could definitely smell that carrot seed extract um, the next thing it's telling us to do is is telling us to go ahead and empty the foaming bath whip into a large bowl and this is one pound um, and we need 32 ounces for this recipe, so we do need two pounds. We're going to use um, the two of these. So let me go ahead. Oh, it's hard to open. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I, I just want to make sure that you can see. Sometimes I, I, I go a little off camera here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. It, it, it comes right out of the jar and i'm going to save this jar um, i don't put anything to waste so it's just it comes right out you don't melt it or anything um, it's just foamy let's take that out and i think there is quite a bit left in the container I don't know if you could see this but it is a little bit it's not that it's it's not that it takes muscle powder uh, power to get it out it's just it's just a little clumsy to get out okay so that's one it has a really nice shiny glow to it um, nice texture I love it and again I've not used this before so this is all new to me, so you guys are long for the ride. Okay, let's see. Speaking of ride, I am hoping that you all are well, that you're staying safe, um, that you're, you're being healthy, and um, you're loving one another. There's a lot of things happening in the world right now um, okay so I'm gonna put those aside so this is 32 ounces of the foaming bath whip and what the ingredients say next that's a little loud let me put my gloves back on because I had to take them off when I was trying to open the lid it says empty both 16 ounce containers of foaming bath whip into a large bowl use a hand mixer and whip until soft and fluffy all right this seems like a really easy recipe you guys guys so I went ahead and I whipped this up now one um, critique I will have of the recipe is that I think they probably should tell you um, just an approximation at least of how long you should whip this because I really have nothing to go by I don't know if this is considered whipped enough or not whipped enough so that might be something that I would change um, if I was doing this recipe um, 
for someone. Um, it says after the, uh, let's see, using a hand mixer, whip until soft and fluffy. I, I don't know, it looks soft and fluffy to me. Um, add melted aloe butter blend and the hemp oil mixture to the bowl and mix well. Okay, so let's mix, guys. And next it says to go ahead and incorporate that bentonite clay with the preservative and the carrot extract. So um, I'm going to add it in. It's real chunky, so it's going to be interesting to see how well it mixes. Um, again, you know, a little disappointed that they kind of don't give you an approximation. I know people are in different temperatures and different, you know, areas, but... Um, probably should give you a little bit of an approximation as to how long you should be mixing and whipping um, because I don't know I'm not a baker um, I don't bake well and I know in the past sometimes when I have baked things that are supposed to you know have a sort of whipped cream or a a whippy, I call it base. Um, you know, my mom has told me that I'm not whipping at a fast enough or hard enough speed and that I, I give up too fast. I don't whip it as long as it should um, or mix it as long as it should. So I have no idea um, if this should be whipped more or not. And that that is a little bit disappointing. But the good news is, what I want to tell you is that once we incorporate what we've now just added in, this clay, and this carrot extract and this preservative, we're done. Um, it says uh, add the clay mixture along with the fragrance oil. So we'll, we'll add that next. And mix until completely incorporated. Fill jars with product and place lid on jars. So let's see. They, they are saying to put in 15 ml of the fragrance oil. And this fragrance oil is Crafter's Choice London for Men. E-O-F-O -O blend. So, um, again, you either have to use a dropper. Okay, I'm having a little blooper here on the side, guys. It's a good thing that you aren't seeing that. <laughs> um, anyway, this spoon is 15 ml. So, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to pour this in. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, we're supposed to be done. We're going to mix this. We're done. Um, what I'm going to do after I mix this is I'm going to go boil those jars. And then I'm going to bring you back and have you watch me fill those. And um, once we're completely done with that, I am going to show you how cute we're going to package these. So stick around. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've gone ahead, I've mixed it. Again, I have um, nothing to kind of use as a guideline. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take off my gloves and not touching the bowl. I, I have, um, kind of like when you're baking, you know, I have, the, the kids would always um, scoop off, you know, what was on my, my mixer um, handles. And kind of like that, I'm going to touch this and I'm going to see how, how it is. I'm going to see what the texture is like. Oh, that is nice. Oh, it smells so good. The texture, the texture, um, I don't know if you can really tell from the camera, but the texture is very um, foamy, 
very soft, super soft. Um, now I'm just I'm just putting it on my on the palm of my hand here because I just want to kind of I want to pretend like if I was someone that was going to shave, what would I think of this? Um, I'm going to have my husband try it out and I'm going to have my brother-in-law try it out before I would even attempt to sell something like this, but I can tell you it's it's very, very moisturizing. Oop, it got in the front too. It's very moisturizing. Um, but I'm curious to see how the razor goes over this. To me, it feels a little oily. Um, now that could be my fault because originally I thought I was supposed to use two ounces of the um, aloe butter blend, uh, but instead I was only supposed to use one ounce. And so I kind of, took out a half, um, one ounce and so it wasn't a precise measurement like it should be and I wonder if that if that could be it because this is pretty oily like I don't think my husband would like this residue huh interesting okay well we're going to keep going I am going to um, put them I'm going to only fill two jars because like I said I'm going to make my husband and my brother-in-law be guinea pigs. Um, to me, it seems like this should have come out fluffier and less oily. So that is going to be interesting. Um, I'm gonna bring you back. I'm gonna show you um, what they look like in the container and how we're going to package them. But of course, like I said, I'm not going to sell these until I have someone test this and um, until I probably make another batch, um, really trying to be a little more precise with how much oil is in here, because I, to me, I feel like this is oil heavy. I'll bring you guys back in a second. Okay, so what I did um, off camera is I kept mixing. Um, I went ahead and I and I just mixed and mixed and mixed for probably another, I would say, good three to five minutes. Again, would have been nice to kind of have some sort of guidelines in the recipe, but didn't have that. But it is more whipped now. It is fluffier. Um, the texture, to me, still seems a little oily, um, but I'm going to have some people test this out, and I will be sure to let you know um, what they think of it. Um, it smells great, that fragrance oil, that crafter's choice. It's a dupe, I guess, London for men. Um, EO and FO blend, it's awesome. It smells really good. Not overpowering, but, but just enough manly. Um, what I also did off camera is I went ahead and I um, boiled these containers. Now, note to self, here's a little tip for you. When they're plastic like this, even though they're BPA free, um, do not stick them in super, 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 super high temperature boiling hot water. They'll melt. Um, they're not supposed to, but they will. Um, and, and even if, it, it's not, it's not that, that one really melted, it just, it just kind of, to me it was almost like a withered rose, you know, it just, it just wasn't clear anymore and didn't look, you know, clean and pristine. So what I did is I let the temperature um, cool down a little bit, I mean it's still very hot boiling water, but I turned the, the you know, the, the fire off and um, and then I put them in and these came out perfectly fine. These came out great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fill these jars. Um, let me get my gloves. And then we are gonna go ahead, we're gonna fill these jars and then I cannot wait to show you how we're going to package these. But of course we're gonna have people test them first. I just have to keep saying that. I'm gonna just keep saying that over and over and over. So anyway, um, here's a jar. Let me let me move this so you can see it better. So here's a jar. 
Um, it's very fluffy and light. Um, I think if you go with a circular spoon like this, um, you're probably be the best off. Um, you know, a spoon that is just big enough, just small enough, that um, it's going to allow this to be filled. And what you want to do is you just want to keep, keep filling the top and then kind of press down. And as you do that, um, some comes flying out the, you know, the top, so make sure you're, you're over the bowl. But what it's doing is it's completely filling the bottom. I mean, you don't, you know, you don't want gaps in there where people feel like they're getting cheated and they're not getting a fully contained. See, it kind of, kind of comes out the front. I know someone's going to comment, what a big mess. Come on, who's going to do it? Um, it's really not a mess. It just falls right in the bowl. You're tricky it's I think as I as you continue to do this and you get practice doing this you'll get better and better at it but like the first couple it, it was a little tricky I'm not gonna lie um, the other thing I want to tell you is that when I put this on the scale it comes in at eight ounces and so I think just to be as transparent as possible to my customers, if I was to go ahead and sell this, um, I would probably say just under eight ounces. I think I would include that just under part because um, no matter how hard you try, okay, here's one that's shut. No matter how hard I try, there is a little bit um, I mean, it just does not go 100% totally perfect in every in in every single jar. I, I kind of did that off camera. I have clean t towels here, and I'm just kind of wiping the jar. And so I was showing you there's there tends to be a little bit of of a part where it didn't get totally filled. And so uh, again, I think just for transparency and honesty purposes. I think I would probably say just under eight ounces. Um, they're just there, you know. There, there are some air bubbles in it. I guess is what you'd call them. Okay. One thing I think I found is you're better off cleaning the the jar after you put the lid on, because I think the the lid keeps keeps the lotion from escaping so to speak so it, it just gets pushed down um, into the jar there we go so that's another clean one but you know there are still some little gaps and I don't I don't know how I feel about that hmm. anyway let me show you how we are going to go about and package this Okay guys, so let me show you. Um, this. I'm back and what I want to show you is that I did figure out how to fill these jars. Um, I think it's just practice. <laughs> I think just the more and more you work with um, this, these ingredients, this whipped um, shaving cream, um, just the better you get at it and you kind of know like how much to put in a jar and then how much in addition to, to keep kind of putting in there and it really started to go well it wasn't as disastrous as when um, I started to fill up the first couple of jars um, I also want to tell you the trick um, it is that it is that tapping trip this is going to be loud okay I'm just warning you but what I did is after I filled the jars and I advise fill them all up they'll be messy fill them all up first your hands will be messy um, once they're all filled up 
that's when then I took just, you know, I, I buy these um, microfiber towels and I had some, you know, clean ones of these. That's when then I took the towels and um, I took each jar and I really went around it and cleaned it off and just really made sure that it was, you know, really nice and, and clean and there was no excess, you know, product around it. Um, I tightened the lid on them. You really have to tighten these lids tight. Um, and that's why the preservative is in it because, you know, it's made um, to stay in a jar for a while. Um, and then what you do is you do the good old tap tap that we do when we make cold process soap after we've poured soap into our mold. You literally take it. I did that like three or four times and that did the trick. It completely fills, it completely filled the whole jar. There were no air bubbles, no um, pocket holes where it looked like part of the jar was not filled. So that's a tip for you. Okay, so my battery went out on my camera. I'm not sure how far I got to, but um, what I was saying is that um, the recipe made 10 eight ounce jars. Um, and I'm confident now with after doing the tap, tap, tap it, that the jar is completely filled. Um, I am giving customers eight ounces. Um, I was short two jars from that package of jars that I ordered from Amazon. Um, I love the jars. I think they're great. I really will try to remember to put a link below um, where you can get them on Amazon. They also come with these cute little um, stickers that you could put on the front of each of these labels. Now because these are for gentlemen, I really don't want a purple label on there so we're not going to use those but I just wanted to show it to you that if you did want to you could use those. My videos, um, um, I went and I um, took scrapbook paper um, out of a scrapbook album of paper that I had. I wanted obviously to find one that's kind of more um, masculine looking. I liked this one. It's kind of like a gray. kind of is looking brown on the camera, but it's kind of a gray, which I think will look nice with um, these jars. I went ahead, I punched a hole. I have two of these. I have a circular one and then I have one that is kind of a wavy round circle. Again, because this is masculine, I don't want to use the wavy, flowery looking uh, puncher. I want to just use just a simple round um, I can go ahead I can go ahead and put my um, ingredients label on here and what I did is I went to my Avery template and I um, I changed the ingredients on my ingredient label to go ahead and reflect the ingredients that are in this recipe um, I'm going to use my two hole puncher and I am going to punch a hole in my label right there and then um, I'm just going to go with just black ribbon okay so this is how easy this is you guys um, and then what I purchased also off of Amazon is I purchased these little dishes um, they're white little like porcelain dishes. They were very inexpensive. I think they came, I want to say six in a box. I'll try to leave the link for these as well. Really, really cheap. Um, and I think this is going to be great to um, include in this packaging. So I want to take one of the shaving cream brushes. Um, and I want to go ahead and I want to include the shaving brush. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put that yet. I want to include this with the jar. Um, and the way that, you know, I'd like this to kind of go is that um, there'll be a, a, a one price for the sort of starter kit, which will include the jar, the dish, and the brush. But then I will also have an option for customers to continue to just purchase the shaving cream because you know I mean if they want to purchase a another brush each time they can but it's kind of it could kind of get pricey whereas if they already have the brush in the dish they can just purchase 
the whipped shaving cream. So what I'm going to do is um, I am going to do something a little different than what I normally do. I want to try and fit both items in a bag. And so this is my, this is my, I believe this is a, gosh, I want to say this is probably an 11 by 9 cellophane bag. And um, normally, you know, you see me, I kind of, combine it and kind of cut a lot of it off when I'm using this size bag to wrap up soap. But for this purpose, it's the perfect size because I, I can include both items in the bag. Now, I could do something like this, where it's, it's the jar and then the dish and then the brush. I could do that. Or I could try to kind of fit them See if I can get away with this. I may have to use my even bigger bag, which is fine. I'd like to just stay away from that. There we go. I can put them all on one layer where it's again the shaving cream, the dish, and the brush. Okay, and then I can go ahead and I can just put some ribbon on them and that's a beautiful set and I think quite honestly I like that better than doing it like this let's see let's see which I like better <laughs> you're you're gonna figure it out with me yeah I'm not crazy about that I'm not crazy about that with it with it being on top of it I think I like it better when we kind of Put the dish on the side and we put the brush and then we can go ahead and we can just wrap this up like this. Oh and that looks that looks awesome. And again, it's masculine, so I'm not really sure that I want a bow of any kind. So I think I'm just going to double knot this. There we go. And then I'm going to kind of pull out, pull on the top. And I think we're good to go. Okay, I do not have my fabric scissor down here, so forgive me. that okay and there it is there it is I hope the camera is picking it up it's the shaving cream the brush and the dish and then we have our little label here where on the back someone can write the to and from and on the other side are our ingredients so um, I think this came out really cute guys um, I am curious to see how um, my testers um, are going to like it, and if they give me the go-ahead that they love it, um, this will be on the website for sale at bluepianosoaps.com. If I don't see you all before Father's Day, please have a wonderful Father's Day. Please spoil your father, um, your sons, the men in your life. Um, I'm going to spoil mine, that's for sure. I have a, a husband um, that my two daughters absolutely, absolutely adore, um, and so we are going to treat him to um, a special uh, day. So um, God bless, stay well, everyone take care, and I'll see you real soon. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and please give this video a thumbs up. She's waiting for love